centre. What is this Alumni Centre about overall? A, a community space where that's open to anybody to come along and just be here to meet people, um, learn about growing organic food, um, learn about maintaining an allotment. Um, and it's really for anybody, people to just do as much or as little as they want really. Um, if people just want to come along and have a chat with people, that's absolutely fine. If they want to get stuck in and do loads of gardening, that's great too. Well, health and wellbeing in the generic sense, getting people out of the home to address and get out, meet other people, break down barriers, which is even more essential uh, because of lockdown and people being isolated the last two years. Uh, so my role, I'm Jo Van Leavesley and I work for Darnall Wellbeing as a senior health and wellbeing lead. The allotment has been going for a really long time and then it, it got um, all overgrown and then they sort of, you know, gave, got some people in to clear it and get it going again and they needed somebody to come in and run sessions and get things growing. So, yeah, I did that. All the vegetables, there's fruit, bushes, fruit trees, and then we plant, yeah, like potatoes, broccoli, cabbage, carrots, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the polytunnel in the summer, we have like tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers and stuff in there, aubergines, loofah, we had a loofah. Um, and then in the winter, it has like oriental greens and stuff in the polytunnel. So dementia is one of my topics and I have some hours working supporting the allotment with funding bids and delivery. So I have delivered this summer 12 sessions of dementia on the plot and I've delivered an art project on the plot. So all the artwork that's displayed in the classroom has been done with either people with dementia or volunteers or participants of the group. So I get well, I guess we're doing uh, sort of a few workshops throughout the year. So we've just had an apple juicing one, which is in autumn, late autumn, and then we do a Christmas one, making Christmas wreaths and decorations and stuff. Um, oh, and then we did, a, we did a composting one as well, that was late in the year. I guess that could be anywhere really, anywhere in the year. And then in the spring it's all about seedlings, seed sowing, um, getting seedlings growing, planting stuff. This time of year it's all about kind of preparing for winter and covering up the beds and sort of, um, yeah, getting stuff sorted for winter. And then in the summer it's all about sort of watering, watering like crazy and harvesting and eating. <laughs> but it's been lovely to have carers up here. Uh, I have volunteers who come who have done the dementia training. Uh, and are recruited to sort of help support the activities that we do. So the allotment is fantastic for that. So we're in the polytunnel now, so people can come and shelter in here, they can grow the brassicas over winter, and in the summer it's full with the vine, tomatoes, and, uh, and sort of hothouse, uh, hothouse things. Though the peppers were phenomenal this year, as were the tomatoes, and I think we had six or seven varieties of tomato. The apple tree is donated by me, it's one that came from the garden and it's called Red Love. And the unique thing about it is it's only a very tiny little apple, very, very sweet, it's a dessert apple, uh, and the flesh is red inside. And as you know, if you cut a, an apple from the core down, you'll see the heart with the seeds, and if you cut it across, you see the star. So it's got sort of quite a lot of connotations. It was it's supposed to be a patio one. It's a prolific fruiter, but she's a little bit unhappy in my patio. And I thought I'd look for one that was smaller to replace her and gave her a home up here. to volunteer for this Allotment Centre? Um, several reasons really. Um, I wanted to be more involved in my local community. Um, I've lived in Darnall for 10 years, um, so I wanted to get more involved um, with what goes on in the local neighbourhood. Um, 
do something useful with my, my spare time. Um, but also because I knew it'd be good for my mental health. Um, there's something very therapeutic about scrabbling around in the muck, which is why I became an archaeologist. So, <laughs> um, I think like because I wanted to go, to give back to this community and just spend some time outdoors because um, with university it was quite stressful to just stay indoors and just be around the same people and I needed some change and just learn new skills and and I think experience a different type of life uh, outside of my student bubble so um, yeah. A lot of my stuff is involved in working with others, organising so when this opportunity came up for me and my wife to come up and just do some thing that we could just turn up, learn some new skills, just come along, be part of something came a couple of times and that was it. Been here ever since. Absolutely love every minute of it. What do you enjoy most about Malta? Um, it, it's, it's that feeling of community spirits and, and you know getting involved in something that's uh, that you can see develop and grow um, it's 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 really quite rewarding uh, I really enjoy the people here because everyone is so friendly and very open-minded and and it's quite a relaxing atmosphere um, whenever I come here I learn new stuff about gardening and um, and it's really a space for everyone to just come and do whatever they can and um, and just developing that relationship with nature and uh, yeah and improve their mental health yeah, yeah. one is uh, just being outside in, the, in, in indoors a lot of my stuff is indoors so actually it's just nice to be out I think the other thing is um, meeting new people and job and finish my my some of my ministry is it's ongoing when you're working in the people business, as it were, whereas actually it's quite nice to do, start a job, finish it, and then see it develop over the course of uh, the coming months. cradle to grave food isn't it and good eating habits and being able to myth bust you know what is this what's growing here what's growing there chard what could you do with chard you know multiple cultures will have different things that they can do uh, we had someone come who um, just trying to think um, anyway they saw the vine and the next time they came, they picked the vine leaves and did stuff vine leaves for us all. So again, it's, it's learning yeah. from each other. If you see somebody do something, so today we've demonstrated willow wreath making, people are up by the classroom now making uh, table decorations with oasis and the wild willow and um, greenery that we've naturally collected from, from around the allotment site and from, from our gardens. So. <laughs> I'm trying to find out where we're going. So, are you, are you volunteer then? Yeah, I'm a volunteer. I've known Joe for 15 years, is it, Joe? Uh, we've always had cats, 30 years. And have you got none? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, actually. Oh. That's beautiful. <laughs> Can you teach me now? <laughs> you know, a lot of people's illnesses are not tattooed, they're not worn, they're not visible. So here we meet people as they are, whether it's dementia, whether it's mental health issues, whether it's no issue, whether yeah. it's just somebody coming who fancies learning a new skill and a new hobby. The beauty of the allotment is it can meet everybody there yeah. and great things happen. Why do you think people should volunteer for this kind of work? 
Um, God, I just think it's so good for people. It's, it's, um, it's just really, well, it's proven that it's really good for your mental health to, to garden, get your hands in the soil and stuff. Um, like you say, you're kind of in this place where you just, you don't have to think about anything else. Um, being in the outdoors is really good. You get some physical exercise. Um, you get to meet other people. Um, it's a lovely little group that keeps coming, so you get to know a group and each week, you know, just come and have a chat and get to take home some lovely homegrown veg that's organic. I think it's an amazing opportunity to give back to your community and actually learn about growing organic food and just appreciating where our food actually comes from and how it actually grows and and you don't have to commit like every Friday you come whenever you can and it, it's just nice to get to know new people and yeah. I think it's about watching people's confidence grow, learning new skills but I think it's just I don't like using the phrase too much, the whole mental health, it, it just improves people's sense of being with others, yeah, being out um, and just being part of, part of a group, um, yeah, wherever you are in life, I think that, that's quite important. I'd, I'd echo what Kinder said, I think it's really good for people's mental health, um, it's, you know, especially in a time like this when a lot of people have been cooped up for a lot of time during the pandemic, um, it's an opportunity to, to get out and uh, grow your confidence, learn new skills, meet new people, make new friends. I'm a big advocate and I think, don't rule it out, I would say, come and see. If having seen, you then say, this is not for me, that's fine, we'll find something that is. But I think actually coming and seeing just makes you think, yeah, there's such a value here.